Hi guys, today I'm going to test this very interesting Speedsten micro SD card set for you. The specs are really, really nice. We do not only have class 10, we have even U3, which is three times as fast as compatibility, but maybe we get even higher speed. We are going to test that here. And it comes in a nice set with this small case and with the full size SD card adapter. And the size is also something which is super amazing this is a whopping 128 gigabytes and of course I'm also testing if this is a real storage and of course we also want to test how it's compatible with real high-speed cameras like a newer GoPro Hero and of course we also want to test how it behaves when the battery is low that's very important to see how the controller here inside is behaving and supporting that we are not losing any footage. So let's open the package here. That's what we get. Really nice, well organized set. The adapter here and the micro SD card. So for a lot of older computers, you would need this adapter. And so this is how it would go from the back here. So we push this here inside and then we can use it in older computers. But newer computers like this Lenovo have a micro SD card reader. So I just push it here fully inside and the Explorer window is opening automatically. And so the system shows it automatically with 116 gigabytes. That's pretty normal. Absolutely no reason to complain. That's a little bit a smaller size because of the formatting here. That's what we always have. Okay, and so here we are with the results. And you can see we have a reading up to 90 megabytes and even writing of up to 41 or even 53 megabytes, depending on the size of the files, which is then way above U3. And that's just to remember, that's more than five times the speed of a class 10 standard which most camera manufacturers are recommending so we have plenty of speed of course with smaller file sizes the speed goes a little bit down but usually when you are recording like with a camera gopros or so then we use large file size of course okay and so the test has finished and it confirms that there was absolutely no error so we have really the full capacity this is not a fake storage, this is a real storage. Very, very important to know. And so I removed the storage from the PC and add it into this GoPro. Of course, first we remove the old one. Now we add this one here, GoPro 10 Hero Black. Very fast action camera. I leave the side open, turn it on. And so we have it turned on and everything is working normal. There's no warning. And so let's set it to the highest resolution, which is 4K and 120 frames per second. It definitely does accept that. But of course, only when we have the normal wide angle and not the super view. And so let's start the recording now. And you can see it definitely works. There are no lags, no nothing. 120 frames per second recording. So I stop this here. Let's see if it plays directly from the GoPro. Yeah, you can see absolutely no lags. There was no problem with the highest resolution, highest frames combination. And now let's do a second attempt. But now in this situation, I'm going to just pull out the battery, which is really tough, of course. But this can always happen that we are running out of battery and then we want to see how it's behaving. So that's the second video. And I stop at around 25 seconds. So let's add it here again. Turn it on. Repairing file, that sounds pretty good. File repair, that's what we want to see. And so you can see the video length is 14 seconds. So we only lost 10 seconds, which is exactly the same 
as I'm usually losing with this Samsung micro SD cards. So absolutely no difference. Yeah, everything has been working really good so far. It has passed all the really tough tests regarding speed capacity and even emergency situations. So at least at the moment, I don't see any reason why not to buy this super cheap speeds than for example compared to a more expensive Samsung or SanDisk of course I don't know how it's behaving on the long run but at least at the moment looks really really good and so if you're interested I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time